Now the first slide setup I'll be talking about is Top Floor Oregon. First of all, let's start out with all of the rotates. First, you'll want to rotate from attic to kids. Then you'll want feet holes on the right side of this wall in kids as well, with an optional rotate next to that. Now let's talk about some head holes you can make. You have the option of creating white head holes here, so that you can sit on white stairs and hold anybody coming in through the door, or vice versa. You can also make head holes from trophy into attic, right here. And then the final head holes you'll want to make is on the master wall, and on the right side of this armory wall. This is so that you can have a player inside of Armory holding Master, which is very important and not a lot of players end up doing this and you should definitely start. Now, let's go over the reinforcements. For the main walls, you want the two closet walls right here reinforced. Then you're going to reinforce these two attic walls as well. Then make sure you have this trophy wall next to the head holes reinforced also. Reinforced next to your kids rotate here. Reinforce next to your feet holes so they can't get an angle from the window onto anybody on the doorway. And then reinforce next to your head holes inside of armory. Optionally as well, you can reinforce this hatch in case you're scared of them Amaru rushing or trying to buck below you. And then if you know that you're going to give up trophy control, you can also reinforce here instead of putting head holes there. In terms of where you'd put a deployable shield, there's a few options. You can put one on this door frame just like this so that you can watch anybody inside of Trophy and swing on them. Or you can put one right here on this wall to watch the exact same doorway and to cover your rotate here. Now that was just one out of 16 different site setups that I'll be going over in this video. I'm gonna try to go over a site from each map that I think people are setting up wrong the most so that I can show you how to set it up the best. The next map is going to be Clubhouse where I'll be showing you how to set up the basement site. First, let's go over the rotates. You'll want to rotate on the left side of this wall that's very, very small right here, so it helps you deny the plant. You'll want a vaultable rotate on this wall here. Now, believe it or not, you don't really use this as a rotate as much as you use it as an angle to watch the hatch and the hatch drop, or a way to throw a nitro cell over the bomb onto anyone planting. So, you can make this a rotate, but most people don't use it as one. You then want to rotate on the left side of this triple wall for blue. And optionally as well, you can put a rotate on this blue wall as well. Now that we've gone over the rotates, let's go over additional holes as well. Firstly, you want feet holes here, so that somebody inside of Armory can watch the main stairs and the hallway to Moto. You can optionally put head holes on the triple wall here instead of reinforcing it. And then you'll want feet holes on this wall here. Typically, people will reinforce the middle wall. So on the left side of that reinforcement, you can put a hole here, which allows you to stand on top of this table and get a long angle onto the blue stairs. Now that we've gone over that though, let's go over the reinforcements. The first of which, like I said earlier, is going to go in the middle of the feet holes and the rotate for blue. Then you'll reinforce two out of three of these triple walls. Then reinforce the left side of this blue wall here. Then make your way into dirt and reinforce these two dirt walls. Then make your way upstairs and reinforce the kitchen hatch. Come into bar and reinforce the moto hatch. Then come into blue and reinforce the blue hatch. And if you didn't end up making head holes on the triple wall or you don't want to have to worry about any additional angles, you can use your last reinforcement on this wall instead of making head holes. Now for the final part of this setup, you have an option with a deployable shield. You can put one next to these beers right here to allow anybody here to have a tight pixel onto anybody on the main stairs. You can also put one next to the generator right here to watch your secret stairs. And then finally, you can put one somewhere in dirt to have a smoke player or someone that's able to waste time play inside of dirt. Now you may have known how to set up this site properly, but a site I guarantee you set up wrong is bar on chalet. First, let's go over the rotates. Optionally, you can put a rotate on the left side of the bar wall right here. And honestly, that's really the only rotate you need to make. Next, let's move on to head holes. First, you want head holes on the right side of the stock wall here. Then you want head holes all across this wall. You can also optionally put head holes on the left side right here, but you can also reinforce this wall due to the fact that if you don't want to play off of these head holes, attackers can actually use it to kill you when you're inside of stock, so it's like a pick your own poison type deal. You'll also want feet holes on the left side of this wall which will allow you to shoot anybody coming up from blue stairs if you're sitting inside of the bomb site. 
You'll also want to open up the library hatch here, as well as put a hole next to this reinforcement on the left side of this wall, here. Now for the final necessary feet holes, you're going to put them all along this office wall here. Now let's go over the reinforcements. First of all, make sure you have this stock wall right here next to your head holes reinforced. Then reinforce your actual stock to basement stairs wall here. Reinforce your 45 wall. Reinforce the right side of this dining wall here to prevent angles onto blue stairs when you're rotating back to site. Then make sure the other site hatch is also reinforced. Reinforce your two other office walls here. Reinforce this library wall just like this. And then this is where a lot of people get it wrong. Some people will use the other two reinforcements on this wall where I put feet holes. You don't want to do this. Some people will also reinforce the other two dining walls. This is optional. You can do this. I just don't recommend it because most people don't have the brain to open it anyways. Some people reinforce the basement walls, but they can easily just go to a different part of the basement. So I don't recommend that either. So instead, what I would do is I would use one of the walls on the library single right here. This is because library control on this bomb site is crucial, especially if you have this hatch open, which means you need to be wasting a lot of time and as much of it as you can. This wall makes it to where if you're in library, they can't shoot you from that window, or if you're inside of the box, they can't shoot you from that window. So it's a really powerful reinforcement to have. For the last reinforcement, like I said earlier, you can optionally reinforce this wall so they can't get an angle from that door into stock, or you can reinforce this library single right here. This makes it to where if you want to play in the box, they can't get on that window over there and shoot you because you're protected by a reinforcement. They also can't shoot you from the wall or from this doorway. So again, if you're playing in library, which you should be, this is a great reinforcement to have. Now, in terms of a deployable shield spot, you definitely need one top blue. There's other places that you can put a deployable shield for sure, but this is the most important, which is why it's the only one I'll be showing you. It allows you to be able to sit here and hold angles onto anybody in the display hall, deny anybody from walking in through the double door, the window, on the canine balk. It's just really important, again, if you want to help your teammates who are holding library. The reason people set this site up wrong the most usually is because there's so many different ways you can viably set it up, and it can be really complicated at times. A site that is a lot less complicated, though, it's penthouse and theater on coastline. Now first, let's go over the rotates. You want to rotate on the right side of this triple wall in VIP right here. So that you can hold VIP and rotate back into penthouse behind this dresser without worrying about the window. Then you want to rotate on the left side of this theater wall here. Which you want to make super narrow, that way they can't get long angles into sight and you won't be exposed to the bathroom door or the big window. And then optionally, you can make a rotate on the right side of this theater wall, which we will talk about later. In terms of head holes and feet holes, let's go over those now. Firstly, you want head holes on the left side of this triple wall. Then you want to make shallow feet holes all along the bathroom wall right here. Then you'll want head holes on the right side of this VIP wall here. And that's honestly it for the necessary site setup in terms of holes. Now, let's go over the 10 reinforcements. First of all, you want these two VIP exterior walls reinforced. Then you'll want the middle triple wall into penthouse reinforced as well. Then you'll want the wall next to these VIP head holes reinforced also. Then reinforce these two theater walls here. Then reinforce these two VIP walls. Reinforce the left side theater wall here. Then reinforce this theater wall here. I also earlier forgot to mention that you can optionally put feet holes on this wall. So keep that in mind as well. In terms of deployable shield placements, the best deployable shield spot for this site is actually going to be in this hallway right here. I never put it flush with the doorway because you can hide ADSs on this wall to protect your deployable shield, so I always back it up a little bit. That's why you have a rotate here, so you can actually play inside of this hallway behind the deployable shield and have a viable rotate back to site. The only issue is a lot of times people will come up the white stairs, they'll come through the luggage door, or through the window here, so as long as you have like a proximity alarm on these things, or you've barricaded this door here if you know you don't have a roamer, then you usually should be fine to actually play inside of this hallway. I know this might seem a little bit out of the norm for how most people will set up this this site. So if you have any questions about why I did what I did, let me know down in the comments. 
For now though, let's move on to Villa, where you'll be playing kitchen and dining. First of all, let's go over all of the rotates. First of all, you want to rotate on the very right side of this memorial wall here. Then you'll want to rotate on the left side of this china wall here. Or you can put it on the right side with head holes on the left. It doesn't matter, I've seen it done both ways, it is honestly personal preference. Speaking of head holes, that's what we'll go over next. The first set of head holes can either go on the left or right side of this wall like I said earlier. Then make feet holes along this wall here. You can either do it halfway or fully across the wall, again it is personal preference. And then optionally as well you can put head holes or feet holes across this wall too. Then optionally you can open up this hatch here. You can create a hole here to watch the red hallway. And if you're holding upstairs and you're reinforcing two of these walls, you can also put head holes here. As well as head holes for the closet wall. And feet holes for the closet walk-in. Now, let's go over the reinforcements. First of all, reinforce the middle china wall here. Then reinforce this pantry wall. If you don't have any roamers, I also recommend barricading the pantry door. Then reinforce next to your memorial rotate, or museum, whatever you call that room. Then reinforce these two walls here. Then optionally, you can reinforce one of these laundry walls here. Reinforce the china wall right here. Reinforce the right side clock wall just like this. And then you can reinforce these two walls right here. And this is specifically good for a more aggressive roam upstairs. Or you could save the reinforcement that goes on this wall. Or that laundry wall. And then you could triple reinforce this wall instead. Or triple reinforce your astro wall and just sit in astro and only have to worry about two doorways. For a deployable shield spot, it depends on if you're roaming or if you're anchoring. If you're roaming, a great one would be on the bathroom door here. Or watching into statue, or if you're going for a very aggressive room, you can put it in brick just like this to watch master. If you're sitting in sight though, the best deployable shield that you can have is the one looking onto the laundry doorway just like this. Now, with this site, it's a little bit difficult because there's a lot of different ways that you can set it up, and there's a lot of variance and personal preference here. A site with only one way to set it up correctly, though, is bathroom and tellers on border. Firstly, let's go over all of the rotates. You'll want to rotate in between bathroom and tellers. You can make it crouchable or vaultable, does not really matter. You'll also want to rotate in between bathroom and workshop. And then depending on if you're doing a castle strat or not, you can optionally put a rotate also on this wall here. And then you can also put a rotate on the right side of this wall here. Now let's go over some head holes and feet holes for sight. First of all, you want head holes on the right side workshop quad wall here. Then put feet holes along this entire triple wall just like this. You can put head holes across the passport wall here. You can put head holes across this CC wall here to sit inside of office and then watch the door there. And then you can also put head holes across the armory wall upstairs if you are roaming here. Now let's go over some reinforcements for sight. First of all, reinforce these two bathroom walls. Then reinforce these three workshop walls. Then reinforce this site wall here in bottom square. And if you're not castle stratting, reinforce this site wall too. Reinforce the bathroom hatch. Reinforce the workshop hatch. And the last reinforcement is completely optional. I've seen people reinforce this wall to protect them when they're in workshop. Or I've seen people reinforce any number of these walls here for anybody also playing in workshop, it doesn't really matter. You can also, instead of rotating into workshop, put a reinforcement here, but because you wasted three reinforcements here to hold workshop in the first place, I don't really recommend that. So what I've seen people do a lot of the times is they'll just reinforce this middle workshop wall because typically you'll end up being behind it when you're actually playing inside of workshop. But again, completely optional to what you want to do as a lot of the times you'll be in solo queue ranked and you'll have a lot more than just one reinforcement left over. In terms of deployable shields, the best one is on this bathroom door right here. To help the player who's inside on these feet holes, watch this hallway. Also, I wanted to specifically go over this wall here. A lot of people don't know what to do with it. They'll put head holes here. 
but all this does is help the person on the hatch shoot people in bathroom. Instead, what I like to do is either leave it or just put feet holes, so if they try to plant in front of the wall, the defenders can actually shoot through it and deny that. But again, completely optional, which is unlike most of the other actual site setup that is actually very much needed, because the mistake I see most people making is they're not holding workshop, which is a complete waste of space and can lose you the round if you're playing on this bomb site. However, the next bomb site is top floor on Nighthaven Labs. First of all, let's go over the rotates. First, you'll want to rotate into rafters on the left side of this triple wall. Then you'll want a vaultable rotate on the left side of this wall here. This might seem weird, but I'll talk about it later. For the remaining holes on site, you'll want head holes on the left side of this wall. And then feet holes on this wall. You can optionally make the feet holes go across the entire wall, but I'll talk about why you maybe want to not do that later. Because now we're going to go over the reinforcements. The first two reinforcements are going to go on these two IT walls here. The next two reinforcements are going to go on your rafters walls here. For the next reinforcement, put it next to your head holes that you made earlier. Then do the exact same thing next to the rotate you made on the main wall. Then, reinforce these two exterior walls. And then, what you're going to do is reinforce this wall in meeting. Now, reinforcing this wall makes it to where if you have a bandit trigger or a cage trigger or anybody in this room trying to keep this wall closed, then they won't be able to go in meeting, destroy that soft wall, and contest people. They're going to have to go through the door. And typically, you'll have information there, so at least the person on the wall doesn't have to worry about getting their back blown out when they're trying to keep this wall contested. For the final reinforcement, you have two options. You can either pocket it and wait for them to blow open that wall and take control of this room to then reinforce this wall later in the round, which is personally what I recommend. Or you can put it on the right side of this wall here. Now it's very rare that people actually push this side of the map and open this wall, even when you leave it unreinforced, which is why I actually recommend saving it and reinforcing this rotate here. But a lot of the times this can be dangerous, and if you're not even playing inside of this room to keep this wall closed with a bayonet trick, a cage trick, or a turbo trick, then honestly just have this wall already reinforced, save those two reinforcements reinforce that wall, and find a different place for the final reinforcement. Now, in terms of deployable shields, this varies slightly. If you have an Azami, then don't even worry about it. You can put a deployable shield next to this case, or put a deployable shield looking onto the door somewhere, and then you'll be fine. If you don't have an Azami, though, then you definitely should consider putting one in rafters, maybe behind this door, or again, on the shelf. It doesn't really matter, as deployable shields aren't as necessary on this site as they are on other sites, but I thought I'd still go over it just in case. Now, I know a lot of people don't really know Nighthaven Labs yet, which is completely excusable. But if you think you don't know Nighthaven Labs, then you definitely probably don't know how to play console either, which is why I'll be showing you how to set up the top floor. First of all, let's go over the rotates. Funny enough, you actually don't need any. Something you do need, though, is head holes. For the first set of head holes, put them on the right side of this wall here. Then put head holes optionally on this baguette wall in bathroom. And then also optionally, you can put head holes in this admin wall just like this. Now, let's go over the actual reinforcements for the site. First of all, you want a reinforcement next to these head holes. Then reinforce this closet wall here. Then come into admin and reinforce the admin triple wall. Then reinforce the right side of this wall here. Reinforce the yellow stairs wall. Reinforce this single wall next to your head holes. Now, a lot of people might be asking why I don't put a rotate here when I reinforce this. That's because there is a window right here that will look directly into a potential rotate, which can really screw up your team. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a window and bathroom that they can use for the exact same reason. So I always reinforce this wall. And then for your final two reinforcements, you should reinforce these two walls here. This makes it to where if they're playing in admin, they can't just easily open up this wall here. But if you want to put feet holes on this wall instead, then you can save these two reinforcements, reinforce this admin wall, and then reinforce either side of this bathroom wall here as well. In terms of deployable shields, you can either put one inside of the closet, watching yellow, just like this. You can put one upstairs holding the hallway, just like this. 
Or you can put one in sight watching the actual bathroom and spiral stairs like this. This one's more uncommon, but you still can use it. And then optionally, you can barricade these spiral stairs if you don't have any information actually watching this side of the map. Now, I know some of this might actually seem a little confusing as most people haven't actually learned how to set up a site yet. So let's bring you onto a much more comfortable map, which is the basement of Bank. Starting off with the rotates, first of all, you want a vaultable rotate on the left side of this wall. Then you want a crouchable rotate on the left side of this wall and not on the right side, which I'll explain later. You can also optionally make it standing, which is something that we'll discuss for a long angle later. And then also you can put a rotate on this wall here as well. Going over some holes, you can put holes on this wall here. Put head holes on this CC wall here. Put head holes on this wall so you can watch your marble stairs. And then optionally you can make a rotate into vault with head holes all across, just like this. Some more optional head holes include this wall here in garage if you know you're going to be able to hold garage. And then head holes here if you want to be able to hold CC with some long angles just like this. Now let's go over the reinforcements. First of all, go upstairs and reinforce the two open area hatches. This one here. And this one in the closet. Then reinforce this elevator hatch. And reinforce the meeting hatch. Then come into CC and reinforce the main wall here. If you have a mirror, you can reinforce next to the rotate in sight. If you don't have anybody playing in garage, you can reinforce the garage wall. You can optionally reinforce one of these walls on the other side as well if you're playing behind the bomb. Which is quickly something that I do want to go over. Because a lot of the times, me included, people will hold angles from this bomb chassis onto anybody in the doorway. So having a reinforcement next to you so you don't get shot from marble can actually be pretty nice. Another reinforcement that is completely optional is the reinforcement next to the head holes that you made earlier, just like this. If you have a mirror here, I actually highly recommend it because then the mirror player here doesn't have to worry about getting shot from this hatch from holes that your teammate made here. If you're not going to use these head holes here to get kills optionally for your final reinforcement, you can reinforce this wall instead. I don't recommend this because I get a lot of free kills from these holes, but you can do it. Or you can reinforce this hatch if you don't want them to be able to use it in a post plant whenever they plant behind this wall. There's a lot of variance with the reinforcements on this site, but as long as you're making a lot of head holes on the site and you're reinforcing the four hatches, you shouldn't really have a problem if you're holding passive angles. Another site you need to be holding angles on? It's top floor on cafe. First of all, let's go over the rotates. You want to rotate on the right side of this wall and stacks here. Then you want a vaultable rotate into bathroom just like this. And then finally, you want to rotate into cocktail on this wall here. In terms of holes for this site, there's a lot. You can open up this bar one wall right here. To deny anybody trying to plant in Shiko. And then you can also open up holes in this bar wall here to deny anybody trying to plant in trash. You can also open up a head hole on the cigar box right here to shotgun anybody coming down the hatch here. And then optionally as well, you can create holes just like this. To watch anybody on the skylight pixel right about there. You'll also want head holes on the right side of the bathroom wall just like this. I've seen people do it on the left side and not the right side, both of which come with their separate issues, so pick your own poison. If you make it on the right side, then anybody in this hallway will be exposed when they're trying to rotate, but they also can just hide behind this wall here, so I don't really see it as an issue. However, if you make head holes on the right side here, they can see through these head holes into anybody in the rotate, anybody in freezer, anybody on this rotate, anybody in bar, which is really, really bad for you. So personally, instead of exposing my team to four angles, I like to expose them to one in this hallway, which is why I put it on the left side here and not on the right side. And then finally, you want feet holes across this wall here. You can optionally put head holes here, but a lot of times your teammates won't know that those are there and they'll die to it, so I recommend feet holes instead. Now let's go over the reinforcements for sight. First of all, you want to reinforce the two main walls here. Then reinforce either one of these bathroom walls. Then reinforce the two red walls here. Come into cocktail and reinforce the single wall here next to the rotate. Reinforce this wall next to stacks. Then reinforce next to the bathroom rotate. 
And then the final two reinforcements, you can do whatever you want with them. You can either reinforce these two walls if you don't want to put feed holes here. You can fully reinforce off bathroom and reinforce off the head holes, which I don't really recommend you do, but you can do it. Or you can reinforce something downstairs. It really doesn't matter. Now, what, where your deployable shield should go is on pixel. You can either put it next to the bench to create that pixel angle, or you can just put it onto the pillar like this to create that exact same pixel angle. Doesn't really matter where you put it. And that's pretty much how you set up the site. One thing I do want to note is the fact that these feet holes make it to where if you have anybody playing in piano, they can prone behind the couch and shoot anybody dropping new hatch or trying to plant in either one of the plant spots, which is why you have feet holes here in the first place. Now you might be thinking that this one was pretty easy and that you already knew how to set up this site. But a site I guarantee you set up wrong is karaoke and tea on skyscraper. First, let's go over all the rotates. You want one for your black top right here. Then you want one for the geisha hall just like this. And those are pretty much all of the ones that are necessary. Oh, didn't mean to make a hole there, but you get the idea. In terms of head holes, I recommend putting head holes all across this wall. Or at least halfway across. Then put head holes through this dresser. Then put head holes on this wall right here, which funny enough, I've already done accidentally. And then you'll want head holes on the left side T wall right here as well. You can optionally put feet holes on this wall if anyone's playing in drum. And you can optionally put holes here and here as well to watch your drum door and your brown stairs just like that. But now let's go over some reinforcements. First of all, you want the black top wall reinforced right here. And then you want this wall reinforced next to it so they can't get on the black top door and shoot you when you're rotating. Then make sure your two exterior T walls are reinforced as well. Then come into Geisha and reinforce the Geisha single wall. Then reinforce these two T walls. And then the final three reinforcements are completely optional. You can either put two on this office wall and one on the top house stairs wall if you're trying to roam, which I don't actually recommend you do. Or if you're playing inside of Geisha, you can use the three reinforcements here. One in the interior Geisha wall to protect you from the window. One next to the head holes you created earlier to protect you from the hallway. And to give you a nice little pixel under the hallway as well. And then one on this wall next to your rotate to protect you from anybody inside of the bomb site trying to cover their planter. You can, optionally, you can optionally reinforce the left side of this wall as well to protect anybody in the hallway from the site window. But that's pretty much it for reinforcements. The best two places you can put a deployable shield are either next to this rotate to watch blacktop, or in the top of shrine watching into the house stairs just like this and watching into dragon. Not only are you setting up this second floor site completely wrong, but I guarantee you're setting up the second floor of canal wrong too. First of all, let's go over the rotates. You want to rotate on either the left or right side of this wall here. As well as a tiny vaultable rotate on this wall just like this. Now going over feet holes and head holes. Your first set of feet holes are going to go on this wall. So that anybody inside of the actual site here can watch anybody pushing up Skybridge. Then put your next set of feet holes next to these three reinforcements just like this. You can optionally as well put a head hole here. But that's about it for holes. Next, let's go over reinforcements. First, reinforce these two main walls. Then reinforce the wall next to those. Then you'll reinforce the 490 walls, starting off with the two red ones here. And then these two green ones. Then reinforce these two top green walls as well. And then depending on which side you put the rotate, you can reinforce the opposite side of that wall to protect anybody near the rotate. For a rotate option, you can also open up the hatch inside of server right here. Or if you don't want to waste a reinforcement next to the rotate or on the green walls, you can also reinforce the below hatch here to stop anybody who's tricking the wall from getting below nated. You can also use it on this wall next to this rotate. For deployable shields, you can put one next to the sky bridge here. You can put one on the right side of the bomb chassis like this. Or you can put it on this server rack watching Skybridge right here. 
The cool thing about this site is most of the reinforcements, if not all of them, are literally just on the bomb site, so it's pretty simple. A map much more complicated, though, is Theme Park, but specifically the Initiation bomb site. First of all, let's go over all of the rotates. You'll want to rotate from this site into the reception or main lobby area right here. And then you'll want to make a huge hole in this wall next to the initiation wall like this. This makes it to where they can't just put a thermite on the wall and proximity breach these two walls. For the optional rotates, you can put one on this vault wall. As long as you reinforce the single cafe wall here. And you can also put a rotate on the left side of this cache wall here to watch top dragon. You can also open up this hatch in cache to rotate downstairs to go for a flank and dragon. Doesn't really matter. For head holes, first of all, you want one on the right side of this wall here. Or you can put it on the left side. I've seen both. Then you'll want head holes next to the double door right here. With an optional head hole next to your optional rotate right here. And then optionally, <laughs> again, you can also put head holes on the right side of this initiation wall if you have a mirror playing here. And then finally, you need head holes on the right side of this quad wall for bunks right here. Now, if you have a player playing behind this box, they can peek from the box, above the box, or from the head holes. It just gives them an extra angle that they can use. You can also optionally put head holes here. Can we get an optionally counter in the top left, please? That'd be, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Or you can make feet holes here as well. Doesn't really matter. Now, let's go over the reinforcements for the foot. Now, let's go over the reinforcements for the site. First of all, get the main initiation walls here. Then reinforce these two site walls here. Then reinforce this one cash wall. Then reinforce this hallway wall here. Reinforce at least one of the walls in initiation. Or most likely two, especially if you're in lower elo. Put another reinforcement next to your rotate in sight. And then your final reinforcement can replace these head holes here. I don't really recommend it though. Or a better option is to reinforce this cafe wall. Or where that rotate is in vault if you don't want to do that instead. Now for deployable shields, there's a few good ones here. You can have one on the doorway right here next to the actual initiation shrine watching for the hatch drop. You can also have one on this doorway facing the double door. Or if you don't have a mirror here, you can put one behind these head holes to watch the cash door or on the bathroom door for the exact same purpose. Now, this site is pretty common, so if you're in higher elo, you should know how to set it up at least a little bit well. But a site I guarantee you have a zero idea what to do is dining and kitchen on Emerald Plains. For the rotates, put one rotate on the right side of this wall. You can make it vaultable or crouch. Does not really matter. I personally make it vaultable. Then put a rotate on the right side of this kitchen wall. Now, let's go over some head holes. Some head holes that are optional are across this wall here. And then holes that aren't optional are across this floor here. Now these holes in the floor make it to where anyone playing upstairs can get a long angle onto anybody on the wall, which has netted me a lot of kills, so trust me, it definitely works. You can optionally also open up this hatch, and then you can open up the top of these reinforced walls to get angles on anybody in the hallway. Now that we've gone over all the holes though, let's go over some reinforcements. Firstly, if you're upstairs, reinforce these two exterior walls so you can actually play on those feet holes I just talked about. Then barricade this door here. Barricade this door here. And then put some barbed wire and orange stairs if you have it. Also, for your second barbed wire, put it in this hallway and then reinforce these exterior walls of the site here. Reinforce these two orange stairs walls. Reinforce these kitchen walls. And then finally, reinforce these freezer walls. Now, if you don't plan on holding upstairs, you can save the two upstairs reinforcements on that wall and reinforce the hatch and the wall next to your rotate instead. Both are viable options just depending on your playstyle as a player. Another site that heavily depends on your playstyle is Party on Outback. First, let's go over all of the rotates. You want to rotate from the electrical closet into top garage on the left side of this wall. Then make a rotate on the right side of the party quad wall. As well as optionally on the left side of the wall also. 
Next, let's go over holes. First of all, you can put feed holes on this wall to watch the staircase and the double door here. You can put feed holes on this wall here to watch the staircase. Or you can put high holes on this wall to nitro cell anybody trying to go for a plant. Now let's go over some reinforcements. First of all, reinforce the two exterior walls in the electrical closet. Then reinforce this wall in top shark. Reinforce these two bull to games walls. Reinforce this garage wall. And then you can either reinforce all four of these walls here. Or you can save the last reinforcement, put head holes on this wall, open up this hatch, and reinforce the right side of this garage wall instead. Reinforcing this wall makes it to where they can't just buck open this wall, get on top of that purple table, and plant behind the desk with a ninja diffuse right here. But also, if you reinforce that, you don't have to reinforce this wall, because by opening this hatch, now they can't get on the wall and thermite it. And it allows you to put head holes on this wall, so you can have a long angle into games, or swing the bull window, or swing bull, and apply a lot of pressure onto this side of the map. Saving a reinforcement for that wall or reinforcing this wall is fine either way, just depending on if you want to be more aggressive or more passive. But this map is a little bit old, so you should know how to set it up for the most part, which is not at all the case for the newest map layer, specifically the top floor. First of all, let's go over all of the rotates. You want to rotate into server right here. You'll want another rotate into the other site from the same room right here. And then optionally, you can open up this hatch for a rotate downstairs as well. Now let's go over some head holes. First of all, you want head holes on this wall. You'll want head holes on this wall. And then you'll want head holes on this wall. Next, let's go over some reinforcements. First, reinforce the two main walls here. Then reinforce the left side of these head holes here. Reinforce next to these head holes as well. Reinforce the R6 room walls here. Reinforce these two server walls. And then reinforce next to both of your rot- And then reinforce next to your rotate. And finally, reinforce the right side of this wall in 90. If you don't, they can get on this exterior window and get a long angle into 90. And then you can put head holes next to it optionally to contest said window. You can also use that last reinforcement to reinforce this wall as well if you don't want to make head holes here. Completely up to you. And then for a deployable shield, I love putting one next to this desk in front of my rotate to protect it. Now because this map is so new, this really is subject to change as people are still testing out newer and better ways to set up this site. So if you want to learn how to get better at this game in other ways, check out this next video. My name's Alka, and I hope we'll see you there. Later.